good beautiful afternoon guys and welcome back again to my channel it is your favorite girl sorry <laughs> baby girl <laughs> mama <laughs> okay wait to according to you people i know yeah. by now most of you have seen the gender review vlog some of you are saying that i'm no more the baby i'm you're so not, sorry the baby i am girl, still the you? baby girl <laughs> whether baby girl or baby gas is coming i am still the number one forget anyway guys hello guys and welcome back again to my channel and as you can see we have a pretty damn cell here Hi guys. most of you must have seen her in the gender review vlog most of you already know her from way back if you're new to my channel this is the silver on the number one <laughs> The one and only on the child YouTuber Hi here in Nigeria. Guys, welcome to Dine Women's channel. I am the Sylvia on a Nigerian YouTuber living in Bonita. Oh, I want to channel your sister. Go. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you've been here not too long enough you know that she's visited port Harcourt before and she had a great time so this time around she's back again for extra adventures the thing is that we only have one day to wrap it up and yeah tomorrow she's she's vamosing back to i don't know why she doesn't stay long but hopefully it's a fun few day just find babes having fun Anyway guys, we just finished from Genesis and we're currently at Native Tree Restaurant at number one on the road GRA phase two. It is 5 p.m. and baby girl here has been having a yes, good guys. time. I've been taking care of today. Yes. I'm enjoying myself to the fullest. See guys eh? <laughs> if you can hear from my voice. <laughs> I'm just waking up from sleep. That movie we watched. I don't even know. I'm going to be leaving my review on her channel. So please do not miss out on, you know, catching up with what we had to do the whole of today. Because I don't think I'm giving enough details, like, inside this vlog. Because she's my guest. So let's have the pleasure of, you know, filming every damn thing. So if you want to see what we got up to, head down to her channel. The link will be in the description area. Her name is Da Silva Ono. Oh, Anyway, we're just going to be mukbanging here, talking about different things, different controversial topics that we've been seeing online. <laughs> Anambra versus Imo. Imo. <laughs> Imo traditions, Imo culture, Imo marriage, all of them. All, 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 all in her channel. So please do not miss it. And yeah, I'm just going to give you guys bits, just bits of what we're going to be doing here. Nothing much. As you can see, this is a native tray. I don't know if you can see it. And yeah, we are trying to locate the restaurant too. This is the signpost, but then there is a photography studio right in front of us. Good morning guys, see, fam, I don't know what December came with, if it came with a lack of motivation, laziness, sleep, binge watch series, I, I, I just can't tell, I'm, I'm struggling to catch up with the whole vlogmas syndrome, but anyway guys, um, see, it's been a few days since Chedema went back to our nature and I'm finding it hard to quit, maybe because I've been so flipping busy, which I will explain later on in this vlog. But something was way built to me as you can see it came wrapped in this beautiful orange ribbon and my name is Dia. I 
can't really show because my phone number is there. But um, we're going to unbag this and <laughs> Mama Diana is so flipping excited. Guess what it is? It is a flipping merch. Ugh! Look at this guys. Just take I order see don't ask me why I did not order for my size. I wanted something comfortable. You guys know that I'm currently heavily, 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 heavily pregnant. So I wanted something oversized, you know, something comfortable and it says cold city state of mind and you read that right anyway this match is this is actually the first match that i'm seeing a nigerian youtuber come up with like i have a this is different this is special because one she's my sister number two she's a friend we talk <laughs> i mean like she took over my channel at some point this year most of you know her her name is chief vera here on youtube she's an enugu state vlogger southeast vlogger you get me um so guys i'm hoping that you guys go support her like this is the first nigerian youtuber that i have seen come up with a match you guys absolutely know the hard work that don't just come with content creation definitely in future people are going to count her as top 10 here in nigeria because man she's good and this is not just hype this is not she didn't pay me to do this i'm just saying this because fam for me to buy this shirt from her for me to support her business it is that deep and i can't wait for more nigerian youtubers to you know come up with successful things like this these are the things that we love to see and yes go support my girl chivera her name will be on the screen and in the description area below go support her merch if you've not heard of her go watch her her content is mad original mad Enugu, just Enugu in fact. If you are an Enugu 042 babe or 042 guy, go support and rep her. Anyway, um, today is looking dull. It's been flipping hot. I really do not understand the hotness that I thought her matan should be coming. I thought <laughs> our own winter should be coming. I don't understand what's happening in Porta Cut. But um, yeah, if you're wondering what this hanger behind me is doing, I'm sending it over to my mom. Um, we just unboxed a new hanger, not just for some Jachi, but for the new baby. We have two. Actually, they were given to us on our wedding day. So I don't know why we kept it for this long, but thankfully, I was planning to sell it, but thankfully, it just came handy so our old one my mom said she has someone to give it to you guys know nigerian parents they always have clothes everything they always have someone to give it to so i'm off to her place to drop this hanger off guys beautiful beautiful morning still it was looking like it was going to rain but then it didn't rain but currently i'm at orazi by car wash most of you may not recognize this place because it's currently under construction i bought a bath here yesterday a standing bath actually because long story i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys the reason why but then it didn't fit into my car problems with small car it didn't enter my car so <clears throat> I have a solution my back seat actually folds like you can fold my back seat so apparently today I'm just going to beg them to help me fold the back seat and then put the standing bath standing bath yes standing as opposed to bending or just placing it on top of table so yeah this is why I got it this is actually where I got it. I may possibly come here for Christmas, you know, decoration shopping, cause they have stuff in front of their store. So yeah, Nimi Kiddies. Some of you must know this place if you live in Portak.
Anyway, guys, I'm done for today. As you guys could see, the hat to you know push the back seat forward just to get enough space to fit the baby bath and stuff like that see the reason why i'm getting this standing bath is because we don't have a surface maybe a table a suitable table for us to place that some jachi's bath and we do it the nigerian way whenever we're bathing some jachi we do it the nigerian way you have to put the bath on the floor put the baby inside put your leg inside and bath that, that's how we do it it's, it it's just normal i just see abroad people doing it different see here in nigeria is a different system of bathing baby with that you know bath so i'm like nah this bending bending thing i'm not gonna do it for this next baby so i had to get this baby bath guys i do not understand what's wrong with me remember when i talked about you know not shopping a lot for this baby you know um just reusing stuff like i was making noise running my mouth like kilo day fam i'm a mommy we don't even have to in in another kingdom or I just I, I, I can't really understand but of recent just approaching nine months is making me it's just making me anxious the anxiety is real like I find myself buying unnecessary things like yesterday I was talking to Chidema I was like nee, do you know I spent a whole lot of money just buying things that I may just use for a month or two and then that's it because we're not looking forward to another baby at least not anytime soon so it's like I do not understand what's wrong with me. See, I went to carry bath. Look at what I bought. Bags and bags of stuff. These ones are actually important anyway, but then I just do not understand. I totally have a bell of clothes. Like, it was just one drawer. From one drawer, now it's two drawers filled with baby girl's clothes. Like, I, every time I step out, I already have onesies. If I go to a new store, funny enough, I don't find myself going to go buy okreka like in some Jachi's case where, you know, I was craving to buy okreka every now and then. The way I've been exploring Portacot's, you know, baby boutiques and stores and whatnot, God knows, I've flipping spent, I don't want to say, but then I'm broke basically i'm broke from buying baby stuff let me just let you guys know i'm done with everything but every time i step out of the house i come back so late because i'm there trying to pick up i don't know if it's baby girl syndrome please he would not tell me that it's like this he would not warn me that it's like this please let me know in the comment section if this is how it is with baby girls you go out you see something you feel like okay the one i bought is not fancy enough it's not nice enough let me add to her collection or like some judge if it's not necessary like he doesn't have bibs or socks or trouser from forward march I, i'm not even looking left or right i'm not even motivated to buy it or to remove money i do not understand why the case is like this anyway guys that's that for this vlog if you totally enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and hopefully i'm going to see you guys soon